We all know that the economy isn't always stable. There are times when the economy is booming. There are also times when the economy is poor. When the pandemic hit, it took a toll on the economy, which caused many businesses to collapse. In fact, according to research in 2020, 41.3% of 5,800 businesses temporarily closed and 1.8% permanently closed. Not just businesses, many people lost their jobs and some of them became homeless. Since this is the case, it is a must for everybody to practice good financial planning to minimize losses due to an unstable economy. Thus, in this video, you will learn the steps you can take to start preparing your financial resources. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this type of content. We always appreciate any kind of support. Note that the ideas and suggestions presented in the video are for informational purposes only. Therefore, please consult a certified expert first. Welcome to EM3 Financial Freedom Strategies where you learn how to manage your time and money to achieve financial freedom. If you want to know all the juicy details, then make sure to watch until the very end. Step 1. Count how much money you have The first thing you have to do is determine how much money you really have. List down how much your monthly income is as well as all their sources. Then you will also list down the expenses you need to pay such as your electricity bills, water bills, taxes, food, and body essentials. When you're done, you subtract your expenses from your income and that will be the money you can save or invest. Other than your monthly savings, include your prior savings and assets. Basically, you're also trying to look for how much you really have right now, which is why you should count them in as well. Once you're done identifying how much money you have, then it will be much smoother for you to budget your money. Number 2. Allocate your budget Now that you know how much money you have, it's time for you to allocate your budget. First of all, you should save an adequate amount of emergency funds, which is usually 3-6 to six months worth of your living expenses. However, the amount changes especially during an unstable economy. During such times, you must consider adding more funds for emergencies, much more than usual because unstable economies tend to produce unexpected outcomes. There may also be other disasters that may arrive, and you might find that your money meant to last for 6 months could only last for 3 months. Other than emergency funds, make sure to allocate an adequate budget for your necessities, other than the base expenses should also include an allowance. Product costs tend to change when the economy is unstable. The food you bought a week before may have a different price tag today. This is why you must also include an allowance that can meet the price changes. Investments are also included in the budget list. If you have extra money lying around, then you should consider investing, especially if you want to maximize your gains. This will help your money grow either in the short or long term. You should also include your debts in your expenses if you have some. Debt will continue to get worse if you avoid paying them, which is why even if the economy is stable or unstable, it is always included in the budget list. Step 3. Start looking for ways to increase your income. For step 3, it's now time for you to look for ways you can do to increase your income. If you can find a better paying job, then take the opportunity. If you have the time and resources to set up passive income sources, then go for it. If you can do some side jobs alongside your main job, then good for you. If you have these opportunities, then once you grab them, you'll be able to gradually increase your income. If you're interested to know more, we have links to other videos that can help you down in the description. You can also minimize your spending alongside increasing your income. This means that you have to sacrifice your desires and endure the temptations to buy what you want. This is essential for you to go through because if you weren't able to earn and save enough money due to a lot of spending, you might end up suffering more compared to just enduring your frugal lifestyle. Step 4. Keep track of your money 
Since you're increasing your income and minimizing your spending, then you should be consistent by keeping track of your money. Always keep your receipts for reference and dispose of them only when you're done including them in your list. With this, you will always be aware of the changes in the price tags of the products you buy, the money you spend paying for taxes, and the miscellaneous products you can choose not to purchase. If you can do this every day, the better. Although weekly and monthly tracking is fine, it's much better to do it every day because it's more detailed and it's easier for you to recall which products you bought and why you bought them. Step 5. Start an insurance Life insurance is a service that many individuals only get when their lives are going well. But what if things aren't going so well? If you're concerned about losing your work, should you get life insurance? Insurance may offer much-needed financial stability if the worst were to happen. In fact, this protection is even more crucial during hard times. Insurance is made to assist your loved ones to sell debts, pay for hospital bills, and make plans for the future. All things that may be more difficult to afford during a recession. You should consider having insurance if your spouse, children, or aging parents are financially dependent on you. Your insurance may assist in maintaining stability while also serving as a safety net for the people you care about. Step 6. Look for good investments During an unstable economy, you must start looking for good investments that can grow your money. When there's a recession, many people buy the dip in stocks or crypto so they can sell at a higher price later. Although this is doable, there are a lot of risks involved, and it's preferable only if you have the money you can risk losing. A much stabler investment would be opening up a small online business. When COVID-19 hit the world, most physical businesses opted to continue online so that they can keep getting sales. Therefore. In unstable times, it would be easier for you and safer to open up an online business rather than a physical one. Step 7. Pay your debt If you don't have debt, then great. You can just skip this step and only do the prior steps. But if you do have one, then you should pay your debt. Debt will make it harder for you to budget for the future. If you don't pay on time, the amount will get larger to the point you won't be able to pay for it anymore. It's hard to consider debt in your budget, especially when the state of the economy is unstable. However, if you want your future to become smoother and make it much easier for you when the economy becomes stable again, then it's a must for you to pay your debt. Financial planning is very important, especially when the economy is unstable because it means you're going to be in survival mode. If you make a good plan and execute it well, then you'll be able to tackle the financial trials you face more confidently. As always, you're welcome to share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked your content, then please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.